Hey guys, it's Will. I thought I'd show you how to block Google from indexing, you know, your PDF files, or if you have some kind of a free um, offering that you might have to, on your website somewhere. So at one point I had a PDF quick start guide on my website and I would provide a link. But when I switched to ConvertKit for my email service provider, I was able to upload my PDF to the email sequence so when people subscribe they I could attach the email and they would get that email so instead of sending them a link go download this I would actually attach it with ConvertKit so I didn't have to um, have it but it was it was been sitting there so it was actually indexed by Google so if we go to Google search here when I type in my quick start guide there's two um, PDFs, you can see this little bracket. That's the means that it's the file. So I don't want people, if people are looking for my quick start guide and they happen to Google it, I don't want them to just download it. I want them to sign up for my email list. So this is, I guess you could say a mistake on my part. Something I thought I'd share with you guys is that if you have a file that you're, even if you're selling a file and it happens to be on your website that you want to not have it indexed by the search engines. There's other ways you can go into a robot.txt file you can put that on your website but or the .ht access so that's a little bit lower level um, at the file system and that requires going into your FTP client or your webs you know whoever's your web host like HostGator GoDaddy type thing and editing those files and I've had issues when I have edited those .ht access files if you edit them you can screw up the permissions and it's like the entry gateway to your website and it can really screw things up and you might be um, your, your site your whole site can be affected so I prefer to do this through WordPress through my my browser I don't want to have to edit the file so I thought I would show you so if you're selling files and they happen to be on your network um, and you're somehow sending a link to people who buy you don't want Google indexing it and then having it searchable and edit you know they can just download it directly so the first, the second one, just to make a note here, this is right under my root directory. I deleted that file because it shouldn't have been there anyways. One thing I'm a little nervous about is that I might send somebody a link to the file, which won't be there anymore. But what I, like I mentioned, through my email sign up, I, I've attached it to um, to ConvertKit, so I don't have to worry about these. These shouldn't be used anymore. So anyways, if you have WordPress and you go to your media library, and I searched for quick start, whatever your file might be. And the first one is just an image, so I don't have to worry about that one. But the second one is the actual PDF file. So if you go into edit, and the other thing is you have to have um, the Yoast SEO plugin. So that's a, I don't use SEO to be honest. I, I don't spend the time when I create a new post to go through all keywords and and metadata and all that stuff I, I really don't want to but you might be doing that but anyways the point is for SEO Yoast SEO there's this gear here advanced and the meta robots index it says currently index so I'm going to change that to no index so that means that this file I don't want it to index I don't want Google or any search engine to index this now it's already been indexed so it's going to take some time before it disappears so you're still gonna see it but so once I change that then I'll just update this so let's go back just to check so now it says no index so um, that's gonna take some time for Google to re-index your site um, the if these files, if you're if, if Google's already indexed them and you're worried about, um, you know, you're worried about it, then you can delete those files on your server. But uh, like if I click this, it says 404 because I actually deleted it. But there's this thing, a little arrow here, and it says cached, and uh, they can see the cached version so 
it's not perfect right now like it's going to be obviously still accessible if you try to delete the file on your actual server but um, but basically there's no index so hopefully you can do this whenever you're creating a new PDF and you happen to upload it to your server for sale uh, somehow it's on your website you want to make sure that it does not get indexed so if you've actually uploaded it to WordPress like in my case at one point I had uploaded it and um, you can use Yoast to to stop the uh, robots from indexing your website so hopefully that helps let me know what you think see you later